Hello and welcome to Stephen University. Uh, for the first time ever, we're recording in the same room as each other, Chris, which is which we've never done on this podcast weird. before. This bit weird. Yeah. Lo- looking longingly into your eyes. Yeah. Well, you were. The, we've done three podcasts in person now. I think you were today. Looking, yeah. You were looking at me lovingly in the first one. Now you've just had enough of me. Yeah. That's it was fine. We're done. It's fine. Um, <laughs> this week we watched Stephen and the Stevens. Um, uh, otherwise known as A Descent into Madness. That was um, nuts. An episode, we just watched it together, which is, again, we've never done that before either. Um, so basically the episode consists of Stephen um, acquiring a device that lets him go back in time. He realises, he doesn't know that at first, he realises his dad can't play at Beach of Palooza because the boat is too fat. Um, as is repeated ad nauseum in this episode. And uh, so he realises that using time travel, he can have multiple Stevens in one place at one time and he creates a band called Stephen and the Stevens and it turns out that um, they all start disagreeing with each other and getting quite bickery. And then um, it is then a, just a descent into utter madness as they all fight and stuff. And then eventually he realizes that, that, that that's not how Stevens should should be. So he, he the the original or one of the original Stevens breaks the the, the 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 device, and they all end up dying in front of a very confused Steven that's not yet experienced any of that. And then he sings a great song about how he had to watch himself die, which is. <laughs> It's pretty dark. Like. Yeah, it's kind of weird in a weird way, isn't it's it? It's oddly dramatic when they start disappearing and turning into water. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah, it's definitely. Pretty deep. Um, as is when they like when they're all fighting each other as well. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. gets really quite brutal. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's an odd episode. Um, I think this one feels more like an early one yeah. to me. Um, when you when you're at a point where you've done like Lars and the Cool Kids and like some of the other episodes that have been more recent that we've really enjoyed. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, like which ones we've done recently, like um, Rose's Room, mm. um, Coach Stephen, mm. uh, particularly you know with the uh, with um, the, the the fusion and that song, uh, and even Beach Party and stuff. This feels like a slightly regressed episode to me because it's- Stephen's acting a bit more childish and more selfish than he has mm. been more recently. So it feels like it maybe belonged as a concept to an earlier period in the show mm. but uh, well, overall what do we think chris because it's always it's um, a, i thought it was you're, good you're, I the, thought, you're the reason we're here i thought it <laughs> to was... hear you shit on it <laughs> <laughs> no 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 i thought it was good i thought it was, it's a weird actually oddly i know you were excited to do it but i'm not i'm not sure watching it together is the best format for this because your enjoyment of it was a little bit kind of infectious and i sort of I th- found it really funny, but I think I partly found it funny because we were laughing together and enjoying it together. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah, so that's possibly. weird. So that's maybe a, a maybe Steven Universe is a good thing to watch with other people. I mean, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that it was a descent into madness. Uh, it potentially when they were in sort of the purple background, just fighting each other. The fight potentially then was going on. The fight between all the Stevens was potentially mm-hmm. going on too long. Um, I thought, interestingly, though, at the beginning, it felt like a more recent episode because they've done this thing recently of just like starting in the action. Like, do you remember back in the day, they'd be like, Stephen would want to get his ice cream and then we'd go into adventure. Mm-hmm. Whereas now I think we've been a bit more, right, it's, the adventure is going, let's do yeah, the adventure. Yeah. Um, and that felt very much like that, like this. Um, so that was cool. Yeah. Um, so I, I want a little bit of... Um. A little bit of trivia for you. Mm, you yeah. some trivia. Love a bit of trivia. You know how uh, Greg states that there's like 15 people in the town. Mm. Um, in the in the end, there are 13 people at that concert. <laughs> so Jude didn't bother. <laughs> yeah. See, but, but is that his dad and and the yellow tail? Yeah, and, probably. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Onion's dad. Did you know it's actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. assumed it was Onion's dad. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if I noticed that, but just the voice and stuff I assumed was was. Yeah. Also Onion's voiced dad. ironically though by the same guy that voices Stephen's dad. Oh, that's so cool. he's having conversations with himself. Yeah, in that yeah. episode. Um, but I thought it was very funny. Like Am- I love Amethyst just joining in with all the Stevens and just her uh, reckless. No. Yeah, her <laughs> reckless like not. <laughs> Not taking in that the situation was weird. No interest at all <laughs> in it's what was happening. She's yeah. looking around. There's loads of students. She's just like, I'm down for whatever. Yeah. Spinning the drumsticks. Like, can we play? Like, I want to. I want to do a song. Right. It's yeah. time for music. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That was amazing because I, I. I think that is. It's one of those weird things. It's like it's a gag, but the gag exists. The gag exists purely. Like, it, it seems on the surface that the gag is purely for a laugh. When you actually think about it, that's again just more like little 
Like that's the character. You just yes, that's you, a look you, into her character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you you could watch this episode and know more about Amethyst than the other two because it, because that because of that joke. Mm. If you were just watching this episode, um, so I think that's a, that was really good. I also find it really strange though watching it back because if I'm one of the crystal gems, right, and I got powers and stuff, I mean I know they're confused, but when they finally go back to the initial to the starting point, so Stephen and the crystal gems are on this mission where they find the hourglass, and all the Stevens end up going back there to stop him from finding it, or one of them does, and they all follow. I mean, you think they get involved? They yeah. just sit there and stare as hundreds of Stevens beat each other senseless in well, front of them. Isn't one of them counting? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, 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 like counting. yeah. I think it's Pearl. I think Pearl, Pearl is counting, like, one, two, yeah, like, yeah. how many Stevens are there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also... They had a lot Did less. You call it Amethyst again. Amethyst, I don't know. Amethyst. They had a lot less time. They in the first when that happened the first time. The big waterfall came a lot sooner than it did when they're just watching all these Stevens fight. I know it's that he's got time for a monologue. Like I think it's because he hasn't touched. They interrupt him from touching the. Ah oh, right, okay. Because he ha- but in the original it all collapsed when he touched the time thing. Yeah. But in that one they get they arrive before he grabs it, mm. and that's what sets off the waterfall. And in the okay. end, I think it's. The other Stephen destroying it, yeah, possibly that causes the waterfall yeah, to, to yeah. cave in. I think I uh, you might be able to correct me on that one. But a really funny episode. I think it just like you say, it just descends into a bit of childlike madness towards the end. Um, and you, it's one of those things where you can't think about the science and the the logic of the time travel too deeply either. <laughs> no, I mean it, it, it tracks though. Yeah, I like the idea. No one's ever done that plot before where if they go back in time and meet them for themselves and just carry on living, there's more than one version. I don't think I've seen that in anything before. Um, Gravity Falls. I don't know which of the two shows got there first. But really, really weirdly, Gravity Falls did that plot too, but also did the numbering thing. Oh, really? Yeah, so I found that weird. I'd I'd have to look up which one came first, but... I mean, it could just be, you know, two people have to have the same good idea at the same time. Maybe. Well, roughly. Yeah, it might yeah. have been in production at the same time. I don't know. But there is an episode of Gravity Falls where one of the main characters does pretty much the same thing. That's a oh, great wow. show as well. But, of course, an animated show. So Chris has no interest. I'm here. I'm watching this. I know. But you know what? Can I just say that I've been bombarded with messages. Um, what some Feedback from one of the episodes. Because we are at the point of recording this. We're fully up and... We're like nine episodes yeah, in, and it just got onto the front page bed, of yeah. the the Steven Universe um, subreddit. And I got some, I got a lot of feedback, a lot of very nice. But can I just say, anyone who's listening, particularly anyone who's commenting and interacting, uh, we we genuinely we love you all. You're you're the best. You've all been so nice and so supportive. What a, what what a wonderfully supportive fandom to be involved in. When we started this, Chris was worried that they would re- that they you guys the listeners would reject this show on the basis of. Why would they want to listen to somebody tear apart a show they love? Mm. And I think a lot of people have been actually saying the contrary. They've been saying they found it interesting to get an outsider's perspective on this thing that they love. Mm. And they're enjoying watching you come over to the to that side. Mm. But one thing I wanted to point out is that one person said, I like this podcast, but I'm salty about the fact that you couldn't get Chris through Avatar, The Last Airbender. <laughs> so somebody was real pissed that I didn't get you um, get you through that. And maybe, I agreed with them. It's maybe this. Avatar watching will be a yeah <laughs> something we do avatar university <laughs> yeah avatar observer <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah um so that's uh there you go coming 2026 <laughs> when we finally get through steven universe yeah. every time they announce more episodes of steven universe i'm like ah jesus <laughs> like we may have to ex- ex- one thing that's been suggested actually is that we do the steven bombs as they are Blimey. so like the steven bombs which are like five week of five day events across mm. a week where the episodes kind of link. Mm. When we do those, in terms of releasing them, actually release them across a week, Monday to Friday, uh, the, the, this yeah, podcast. Yeah. That might help get us yeah, yeah, to yeah. our goal a bit quicker. That's yeah. that's one of the suggestions. And, we, and it's that thing, like, for for context of people on that, If and obviously maybe when this airs, we'd have done that, or, like, or we'd be planning that. Or so it's always difficult when you record ahead to know what the situation will be when this goes out. But we... If we could, we would obviously, because, you know, we appreciate the show, like, doing it this way takes us to, like, four years or whatever the maths worked out as. Yeah, it's a long time. Um, It's a long time, but we, 
like we we do and we do two other podcasts so it's just logistically it's difficult to you know if we if we had the time and this was all we were doing we would definitely want it out maybe like, maybe, maybe we'll week, maybe but. we'll accept maybe we could we could arguably accelerate once we maybe finish fringe but it it, it depends yeah because then we, might, we have other, we have other plans yeah, for yeah, replacing yeah. fringe with something yeah. else so we apologize to, for that that it is just one a week um and if a it, lot if of people described having be. binged the first nine episodes this week when that sort of hit the front page of steven oh, university cool. with, with the steven university subreddit which i loved the idea that anybody sat down and listened to us for that amount of time yeah god bless you yeah, yeah, yeah. god bless you we love you people yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really nice yeah. so um thank you for the feedback so um yeah so on the whole do, do would you agree with my regression point then for this one do you feel or do you think that do you think that's on the whole not quite how you felt overall no i think it's fair at the end with that moment yeah where, but you could argue it's the intensity of the situation. Yeah, I was going to say, you, I sus- up in a weird way, I suspect as well that because it's it's not just about the madness of it; it's also a little bit um, about the, um, the, the 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 actions of Stephen. First mm-hmm. of all, he uses this thing for quite selfish reasons, and he's recently shown us to be a little bit more selfless than that. Um, and then on top of that, the Stephen with the fr- froofy hair. It's quite mean to the Stevens, and mm. it all gets out of hand because of the way he's behaving. And you wonder, like, is that is that acceptable? Is he okay? To, is that acceptable for him to behave that way? Mm. We did, and also, is that in character? Even if he's it's still a of, Steven, but or, or then you question: Is that thing driving him mad? A yeah, bit? is that intensifying him? And also, but I kind of like the idea that that in a way is erased, like his arsy behaviour gone. And and the yeah. in particular the line where he's like, "I'm so annoying," like that's. Uh, that's gone. Like, you know, he doesn't know how annoying he was because he just witnessed the, the mad explosion at the end of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's cool because in about four or five episodes, time, there was something hidden in this episode that will become relevant yeah. at a later, a later date. Mm. So in about four or five episodes time, we'll be able to talk about that as well. Uh, but for those, for those who are thinking I've missed it, I, I'm aware um, that there is a big reference. I'll name the episode actually because it's not it's not going to tell you anything. Mm. So Mirror Gem Ocean Gem, which is a couple, was a, which is a two parter coming up soon, um, was heavily sort of um, hinted at in this episode. Okay. Um, in a very clever and subtle sort of way. So when we get to those episodes, remind me to explain okay, to sure. you the cleverness of that continuity because yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty big deal. Sure. But an enjoyable enjoyable episode. Yeah. 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 Good, cool. I don't, we, have we ever wrapped it up this quick? I don't think so. And I don't know if that's because I've got a train to catch or we're just being efficient. Maybe we're more efficient when we're in the same room. It's not that. No, we just because last year we did we did the, the statics podcast and it took an hour and a half. This year it took three hours. That's true. So I don't know if being in the same room is efficient. That's true. I think I think it might just be the train. Yeah, it's probably. Chris the train. has a train to catch, folks. Yeah. Well, that's, that makes me feel bad now. I feel like we've jipped people a little bit. No, oh, well, cut out me mentioning the train. <laughs> No, I'll just tag something random onto the end of it. <laughs> tag us up. It's a great opportunity. For we we talked earlier. Right. right. For anyone that's worried that we... if I apologise that I've got a train. In, in fairness, we weren't going to record this episode, but I decided to hang yeah, back we tried to, fit it in. to record the episode. Yeah, yeah, uh, so, you know, it may seem like you're getting less, but actually this is th- less special is more. recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but to make sure that you don't feel that, although, you know, it, we are only two minutes under what we usually would be. That's true. Inserting now, Dan and I were talking earlier about how it's a shame because he learnt to, he's learnt to play a lot of these songs and we've never put them on a podcast. So if you're worried about that, perfect opportunity. Here's Dan, cover, what are you going to cover? Put the pressure on you now, I'm sorry. No, it'd be, uh, what do you think I should do? So we could do, I, I, I know most of the songs you've heard so far. Do we, do we hear the Crystal Gems? We have the Crystal Gems. Yeah, okay, so the, the theme of the show, you'll hear my cover yeah, of it. So here is Dan. And that's going to be the ending of the episode. Yeah, not so we'll back see you. Awkwardness. So we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week for um, Monster Buddies. Here's Dan's cover of We Are the Crystal Gems. If you're evil and you're on the rise, you can count on the four of us taking you down. Cause we're good and evil never beats us. We'll win the fight and then go out for pizzas. We are the Crystal Gems. Always save the day And if you think we can't We'll always find a way That's why the people of this world Believe in Garnet, Amethyst and Paul and Stephen Oh, Stephen
For this place where I'm free to live together and exist as me I will fight in the name of Rose Quartz and everything that she believed in I will fight for the earth I was made in This world's the only home I've ever known I will fight to be everything that everybody wants me to be when I'm grown The odds are against us, it won't be easy But we're not gonna do it alone we are the crystal gems, we'll always save the day And if you think we can't, we'll always find a way That's why the people of this world believe in Garnet, Amethyst and Pearl and Stephen Ooh. Oh Stephen Yikes. Okay, um, sorry, uh, mostly for the singing, but, you know, it's not completely my fault, because when you think about it, 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 it was Chris's idea for me to cover the song, so hate mail aimed at Chris if possible, um, for both the, the ukulele playing and the singing there, because, you know, I wouldn't have done that hadn't he suggested it. So, you know, any suffering you may have experienced, it's blame him. 